just having fun with the A minor scale slash the A harmonic minor scale and the A minor arpeggio triad and the F diminished arpeggio over the two chords in the background. This is really just a fun process. It's of course a combination of being able to visualize the scale shapes with the arpeggio shapes on top of them, but it's, it's really not that hard if we go about it in the right way. In this session here, uh, and if you haven't watched the previous sessions on arpeggios, please go back and do so. In this session, we're going to talk about the techniques of playing arpeggios, because the challenge is we have more distance in between the notes, right? Well, if we're playing a three note per string scale, then alternate picking makes a lot of sense because we go up and down all the way and we go from string to string like that. But uh, when we go from string to string with alternate picking string shifts, it really is best or the least challenging if we have some notes in between. Because let's say you're playing one note on each string and you have to continue like down on the E, up on the A, down on the D, up on the G string, right? Down on the B string, up on the E string. That is a... a, a a far distance to travel each time you do the string shift. So that is really precision and speed at the same time. And that's going to be a bigger challenge for the brain than using some other techniques. So that's why we use different techniques. But the main point, one of the main points in this video is that you know, when we think shred type of stuff, then people often play, you know, runs and, you know, three note per string runs and very fast stuff. And then suddenly they launch into some sweet picking stuff where we go, right? you know, and it's all sweet picking. They sweet pick, sweet pick, sweet pick, and then they go back to alternate picking for a period of time and then sweet picking again. That is not the way to go about learning your techniques. It's not like, you know, because if you have like three arpeggio notes, then some scale notes, then two arpeggio notes, then some scale, you know, back and forth like that. That's how you create music. You use the 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 the, the arpeggios mixed within all kinds of other stuff, right? Right? It's it's all blended in and mixed, and you you want to develop that freedom instead of being that guy who has to shift from one compartment of playing to another. That doesn't make sense musically. So you want to, when we talk about these techniques here, you want to focus on the fact that you need to learn the techniques, but then you need to take the next step. After you learn sweep picking, I'm going to show you some really cool exercises, uh, or the central exercise, and, and after you learn stretching, uh, then you need to combine it. You need to go back and forth between stretching and not stretching really rapidly, and back and forth between alternate picking, legato, hammer-ons, and pull-offs, and sweep picking really rapidly. So you can do just a little bit of sweep picking and then alternate picking. That's the key to developing picking freedom to the point where you don't even think about what you're doing down here in your right hand because it's such a mix of techniques and you choose the one that point one works the best for the purpose technically and point two gives you the sound you want, right? So you might want to choose alternate picking because you like that, you know, that those, uh, that, you like the notes to pop out, or you, or you use high marks and pull-offs to get a more soft sound. Right. So let's look into close up the the, the different uh, techniques of of arpeggios, and then let's combine them. Uh, come up with some really cool exercises that will encapsulate the challenges of these techniques, and then we'll talk about how to learn them. So let's look up close here. So, what do we do about the notes being so far apart? If we look at our basic A minor uh, shape here, if we start in the uh, 12th fret uh, on the A string, and we play the A minor up using two notes on the first string, and then one, 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 and then two on the last string, we'll get the 12th, the 15th on the A string, and then the 14th on both the D and the G string, 13th, B string, 12th, and 17th uh, high E string. That's our pattern, right? And we got a lot of things going on. We got like, you know, a minor third in between the first two notes, then one note on each string, which works really well for sweep picking. And then on the last, we got like, you know, from the 12th to the 17th. So we got a stretch there, and that's even worse if we play down here in the seventh fret. Right, so we got different things we need to challenge that challenges us here. First of all, you need to practice sweep picking. Second of all, you need to practice stretching, which is the discipline of actually reaching farther than a minor third or a major third, where, where your hand starts 
you know, fingers getting so far apart that it limits the muscles of the hand, which are, are really in the arm here, to, so it impairs their movement. You stretch and stretch, and the more you stretch, the less you can move. How do we practice that um, and become really proficient in that? Also, when you stretch and move uh, from your classical cage shape here, or then, then suddenly you don't have a finger assigned for one fret like you did before. Very close uh, contact here. You suddenly have to stretch out and hitting a any given fret above the minor third will be like, oh, I'm out in space. I don't know what I'm hitting. I can't feel the dip. So I have to look at what I'm doing suddenly. And I used to be, you know, pretty unconscious about playing that blues scale and suddenly I have to reach out and I have to look at what I do to hit the right fret. How do we practice becoming as unconscious or as automatic in hitting any fret uh, out there in, in the open space out here, right? Um, so let's just <laughs> look at sweep picking first because we need playing this with alternate picking is possible, but it's so much easier with sweep picking. And what is sweep picking? It's just passing from one string with the same kind of stroke. So instead of going down, up, down on the G, B, and E, down, up, down with alternate picking, I go down, 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 down. That represents another challenge than alternate picking. Alternate picking is really, how do I do the string shift effectively and hit the strings? But sweep picking is so easy, you know, you can just do like that. And so the challenge of sweep picking is not doing it, it's, it's controlling it. You need to control the timing of, of what you're doing. And there's a little exercise I'm going to give you in this video that you can start using today. It looks like this, and it's only sweep picking, no hammer-ons or pull-offs, only that sweep picking motion. And it's simply, in this case, an A minor seventh arpeggio. You can use any, any kind of combination of notes. But this works really well. We got the 12th and the 14th on the, on the G string. We got the 13th on the B the 12th on the high E, and the 15th on the high E. So two notes here, one note there, and two notes on the high E string. Then what you do is you simply sweep your way from the 14th on the G, to the 13th on the B, to the 12th on the high E. With three downstrokes, right? Then you go in the other direction, doing the 15th fret on the high E string, the 13th fret, same note on the B string, and then the 12th fret on the G string, and then you return back again. So it looks like this. And then you start the metronome, go da, 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 click, 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 click. And then once you get so fast that, you know, one click per three notes is not, is too, too much, then you go click, 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 click. All right, keep your hand in the same position always. Practice the same shape until you got it up to speed. It will really uh, improve your timing. And you see how easy it is to go from string to string using sweep picking like this, instead of having to go with alternate picking, right? So that's a really good sweep picking exercise that you can start doing already today and really improve your skill set. Instead of doing huge sweeps like, right, or, stuff like that, you, you really encapsulate the whole challenge of sweep picking and just do it on a couple of strings, then you have something limited you can become really good at, and then you can always expand to, to more strings. You can, do it, you can do it any place, any strings, but stay with a couple of strings in the beginning, and then you can <laughs> do something else uh, in the future. So that's the sweep picking challenge. Then we have the stretching challenge. And for that purpose, I really recommend that you simply play an A minor arpeggio because the, the farthest distance we have in between two notes in the triad is from the fifth to the root again. So we have the root of the A minor here in, in the fifth right there. And this is the farthest stretch. And in order for you to be really comfortable at doing that, I recommend that you go through the arpeggio on the t on the bottom three strings here. Because on the first interval you have from the fifth to the eighth, that's three frets, right? From the second, the third to the fifth in the chord, or arpeggio, you have four frets, two whole tones apart, right? And in the last one, you have like one, two, three, four, five, you know, six frets uh, in between here. 
right? Um, and so if you go back and forth between these, you'll naturally teach your brain these different intervals, right? And the exercise looks like this. You simply pick the first note in the fifth fret, hammer on to the next in the eighth, pull off again, and then slide up to the next note in the arpeggio, hammer on to the twelfth, pull off again, and slide up to the twelfth fret, hammer on in the seventeenth, and pull off. And then you can slide up to the first uh, interval again up here in the seventeenth fret, hammer on to the twentieth fret, pull off again, slide down to the next note in the arpeggio, hammer on, pull off, slide, hammer on, pull off, slide, hammer on, pull off. You don't have to do this fast. It doesn't have to be, blah, 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 you know, this is an exercise in hitting the right note. That right there. Can you go? Just between two intervals. That's the first exercise, really. Uh, it's just taking, like, let me get some distortion on it. Because in this little exercise, you practice the sliding back and forth of four frets and the hammering on in some way, you know, somewhere out here. So your brain learns to slide four frets, then hammer on and pull off on the four frets, slide four frets back again, hammer on and pull off, then slide the same amount of frets, right? And then hammer on. So, so it's a sliding hammer ons and pull offs. That distance in your first finger and the distance in your fourth finger, that gets connected in the brain. So this is... And the really cool idea is to go back and forth between two positions, right? Once you... And that really builds that feeling of the slide and the hammer-ons and pull-offs and, and how far from the first finger we're, we're moving here. Right? So, really key exercise. And then you can shift. Uh, once you've done that, because, you know, we we have an increasingly less distance in between the frets as we go up the fretboard. So this distance, this physical distance in centimeters or inches or whatever you use to measure distances will be, you know, about the same as this one, where you only have two whole, note, two whole tones in between. So in order for you to 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 have your brain really learn what this is about you can do the next string so you can do the you can do the 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 far interval from the 5th to the 10th you see what i'm doing with my hand if i have to reach there i'm pulling my elbow down i can even pull the uh, the neck towards my head to make that even easier All right so i let's just do that 5th uh, 10th and pull off slide up to the 10th Hammer on to 13th, pull off again, slide up to the 13th, uh, hammer on in the um, 17th fret, and back again. Right? You get the same intervals, but in a different... And this might seem like a mess, but the brain is actually going to get it. It's actually going to get that this interval is the same as, as this interval, even though it's a farther stretch. So this is really an effective exercise in learning both the sliding and the stretching and the hitting the notes somewhere out here where it can be hard to exactly know where it is, right? And another exercise is to do the opposite. But, and that's important uh, that you, you do it in the opposite direction with the, f the fourth finger first, hammer on or pull off and hammer on. So you go eight, pull off to five, hammer on again, slide up to 12, pull off, to eight, hammer on, hammer on again to 12, slide that fourth finger up, because now we're training the fourth finger to move, to slide in that, and not just the first finger. You don't have to practice the others much once you have these two outer points. So we go. And as I said, take your time. This is not supposed to be fast. This has an, in, inordinate effect on your ability to do this, but you have to take it easy. Don't, you know, because it's it's really easy to go, right? Because I only have one in there, and one with a lot of other notes on top of it is a lot easier than going, where you have to slide in different intervals and 
So you can do this at half the tempo you will ever be able to do. Because you have, you have an inlet, you have something in between. Doing it all the time is really 10 times harder. So just be slow. It's just an exercise that will teach you a lot of things at once. And you start by going, just to recap, and then sliding up to the next arpeggio note. Hammer on and pull off, sliding up. Then you do the other. So you start with the fourth finger, pull off, hammer on, slide that finger up to the next note, pull off, hammer on. Right, and you do that on the E string, you can do it on the B string, and you can do it on other strings as well if you want to. But you might want, just want to stay on the B and E. Um, so that's the exercise for the sliding, for the, uh, you know, orienting yourself of where to put your, your fourth finger uh, when you do these things. And then the, uh, then the uh, sweep picking exercise here. Uh, then you, you really have some core exercises that can enable you to play these, uh, these arpeggios in a much easier way. So I hope you'll put this into action right away and actually use this exercise to get some results. Because if you don't, you just wasted 10 minutes of your time. You just watched the video and you did nothing about it. So you have this knowledge that is absolutely worthless. It's only when you convert that into actual action. And the first step is just to make it so familiar, what we've been talking about physically, that you won't forget. So you have it in your bag and then you can start practicing it more and more or you know, use it in the future until it becomes an actual reality. You get the skill as well. So please put it into action and there's no better time to do that than right now. Uh, and if you can't do it right now because you're rushing out the door, you have to do something else, then please set up a reminder so you don't forget to use these, uh, these methods. We have a new program out, a new course here, which goes into great depth when it comes to triads and arpeggios and what to do about them, and how to really get to the highest level of mastery in a logical uh, way where you can just follow a path that will lead you straight and true to where you want to go. So I recommend that you go check that out. And if you don't, I'll just see you in the next free video. Mm -hmm.